All right, we're back. What's up, everybody? So we're back on this Mustang. We're kind of following up with what we were talking about with mounting these canisters for the overflow on the radiator and our power steering pump reservoir. So what we've done to these is originally these canisters, uh, they were made to have a clamp. Um, it really just, uh, it was just cluttered. It didn't look professional. So of course we can't do it like that. We've got to take and mix it up a little bit and make it better. So what we've done is, is we've added on a mounting block so that the canister's floating. Um, and uh, I'll give uh, Tommy Clark, a buddy at CNS Machine Works, I'll give him uh, some props there on that for helping us out with some aluminum and everything so that we could get our canister set up. But these canisters are mounting up in here on the inside as we spoke of before on the inside of the core support just on each side of the radiator. And as I said, right now we're doing temporary hardware. Uh, we will finalize everything uh, that needs to be stainless, Allen button heads, uh, that sort of stuff. So, but it's mainly just getting everything in, mocked up, knowing where it's going, and uh, then we'll figure out exactly what bolts we're going to use um, and go from there. The other thing you're probably looking at is, is what is this sticking up on the front of the car? Well, that is a custom set of hinges that I designed for this Mustang uh, to tilt the hood forward. Uh, owner's request, he said, man, I would really like to have my hood tilt forward, but nobody makes anything for it. And what is out there is a universal type setup. It's a messy setup and it's not user friendly. I see a lot of nice paint jobs messed up with that setup on there. So I told him, hey, we'll fix you up, we'll get what you need, and it'll be a one-handed operation. So on these hinges, now they'll be tied together with the hood, and there'll be dual latches on there, So, and it'll be a single latch release uh, in just one mechanism as far as that goes. But as they'll go down with the hood, Everything shuts, so you're latching up here. There'll be bump stops back here at the back of the hood to keep the hood adjusted where it needs to be along with the cowl and the fenders. Um, we're not decided on if we're gonna do electric actuators or if we're just gonna do a cable to release, but that easy, that simple. Hood comes up, it's not a balancing act or anything like that. It's a simple one motion, cantilever over. And as you can see, the angle of that hood sticking up there pretty good. It gives you plenty of room. Everything is open up here. Now, if you'll come on around, Wes, you'll see where we did these canisters and show everybody. We got our coolant overflow. We got our radiator hose mounted up. You see our brackets, we, you know, if you follow us, you see what we've done there. We got our power steering pump reservoir set up over here. And uh, so we like where those are. Keeps everything nice and clean out of the way. And uh, we did not have our shop elves come in and do our wiring for us. So we still got to work on that and get that stuff ran, finish up there. So you guys stay up to date with us and we'll be back with some more. Thanks.